Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to add skyboxes to your 3D game project in Unity 5. So, um, a skybox is basically just a large box that exists around your world in the game. So, it's pretty much a six-sided cube, but it has um, inward-facing textures, so it looks round when you're moving around in the game. It doesn't look like you're inside a cube. It looks like you're just inside a normal world with a sky around you. Um, so with skyboxes, you can add different skies. You can have a um, you know, sunny sky with clouds, or you could have um, storm clouds and um, sunsets. All right, so you can add different skies um, to your project using a skybox. Before you can actually add skyboxes to your project, in Unity 5, you might actually need to import some Skybox assets. So, um, depending on how you installed Unity, they might not actually exist um, in your project. So, basically, you can um, have a look. If you go to Assets, you can go to Import Package. If you don't see um, Standard Assets or Skyboxes or anything there, then you'll need to install a custom package and you'll need to firstly download that. So, if you go to the Unity um, asset store, which is just at assetstore.unity3d.com, you can download um, different asset packages. So this is the standard assets package, um, which I think existed in Unity 4, um, but if you installed Unity 5, it might not have come with it. It didn't come with my installation of Unity 5. So the standard assets um, asset package has a lot of things in it. So it's got character controllers, it's got camera rigs, got heaps of things in there, as well as it should have some skyboxes in there too. Okay, so you can download the st standard assets package. It has, I think, well, maybe around five or six different skyboxes. There's also um, some skyboxes made by other users. So there's classic skybox, um, which is also free. And there's Sky 5X1. Um, so this has five free skyboxes too, which you can use. So you can just go onto the asset store and search for skyboxes. And there's quite a few free ones that you can use, which are pretty good. I've already downloaded the um, standard assets package and the classic skybox, skybox package. Um, and those packages are on my desktop. So I'm going to go back to Unity. And I'm going to going to go to assets and um, import package and then custom package okay I'll firstly start with the standard assets package so select that and open might just take a minute here we go so you can select everything that you want or deselect things that you don't want um, but if we scroll down there should be here we go there's skyboxes there. So if you want, you could just select the skyboxes and import them. So we've got overcast, we've got starry night, we've got sunny, dawn, dusk, moonshine. Anyway, I'm going to import everything because there's some other things in there I might like to use. Now, this can take a minute depending on what um, asset package you've downloaded. It might take you know, a couple of seconds. It might take a few minutes to import depending on what's in there. Okay, this one has a lot of graphics in there, lots of skyboxes and textures, um, terrain assets. So that's just importing now. I'll give that a few more seconds. Here we go. Okay, and while we're at it, we might also import the um, other ones. So we're going to import package, custom package. This time we'll get classic skybox. So we've just got a few more options there. And we'll import all of those. So you can also make your own skyboxes too. Um, you don't have to use existing ones or ones that other people have made. You can actually make your own skyboxes. Okay, so this one's importing. It's taking a little while. Okay, that's done. So. Um, just got a little error message down there, but I can clear it. Basically, I had already imported some of these assets earlier, so it's just overriding them, but I did want to show you how to actually import them if you haven't already got them. So, 
those um, skyboxes are now imported into this project. Now in older versions of Unity you could go to edit and then there, there was a rendering settings option here where you could add a skybox to your scene. But um, if you're using Unity 5 like I am, that's moved over to the window menu and you need to go down to lighting. Okay, so there's actually two ways that you can add a skybox. You can add a skybox to your scene and you can add a skybox to cameras. So um, I'm going to go through both of those. First, we'll add a skybox to the scene and then I'll explain why you might want to use those two different methods. So this lighting uh, window has just popped up here. You'll see that there's on this scene tab here, there's an option for skybox and currently the default skybox is selected. So that's this one here, just this very plain blue background. If we click on this little circle icon next to default skybox and we scroll up, you'll see that some of the new skyboxes have been imported there. So these ones, they weren't there before. We only had the default skybox and that was it. So now we've got sunny skies. Um, what else have we got? We've got some of the other skies here. We've got overcast. We have got eerie skybox. We've got dawn. Um, okay, so we've got a few options there. I'm going to show you um, this one here. We'll just go with Sunny 3, which is in the standard assets package. And you can see when you click on it, it already gives you a preview of what it's going to look like. So you might just click through some of those. Okay, it's also altering the, the scene as well. Um, so the scene is actually adjusting for that type of lighting that's in this skybox. Okay, so some pretty cool skyboxes here that you can use, and they're all free. That's the cool thing. Okay, the overcast ones are pretty cool as well. That one looks really cool. Okay, now you might have noticed these ones here, the eerie skybox, doesn't quite look right. So there's black patches on this skybox. Same with this um, dawn dusk skybox. There's black patches. So we'll come back to that one in a minute, um, but. We'll, we'll have a look at how to fix that up. But in the meantime, we're going to pick the Sunny 3 skybox. So just double click on that and then just close the lighting panel there. All right, now we can move around and see what the sky looks like there. We'll just go to the game mode. Just preview that from the camera that I have set up. And that's what it looks like. So it's pretty cool. We just added a sky to our game. Okay, so you might have noticed that some of those skyboxes actually had black patches on them, which didn't look very good. So we can actually go and fix those up. And um, the ones that I was looking at were in the standard asset package. So if we go to standard assets and then skyboxes, um, you can see there's the Sunny 3 skybox, which we're currently using, and a few other ones there, Starry Night, Overcast. Okay, all of those uh, skyboxes there, they look fine. But if we go over to the Dawn, Dusk and Eerie Skybox, they've got black patches on them, which is not right. So if you look in the inspector, there's a whole heap of different messages here. If you click on Fix Now, it will actually fix those problems. So just click on Fix Now on each of these little problems here. And now the Skybox is fine. All right, same with the Eerie Skybox. That needs to be fixed up. So just click, keep clicking on Fix Now until the skybox looks normal. All right, so we might just change this skybox to something else. So we'll go back to a window, we'll go to lighting, click on the little circle next to skybox, and this time we might choose one of the ones that we just fixed, um, which was, we might choose dawn dusk. There we go. And we've got eerie skybox as well. So double click on dawn dusk, close that. Have a look around, it looks pretty cool. Okay, click on play to have a look at it from our, the camera perspective that's set up. And it looks really cool. Okay, so that's how to add a skybox to your scene. What we'll do now is add a skybox to the camera. Now, why would you add a skybox to cameras instead of scenes? Well, basically you can have different skyboxes for different cameras. So that means that you can have 
um, a world that looks different to different viewers. So the sky can look different to different viewers. So basically you've got like five different cameras um, and they can be used for different viewers. Then you can have the world looking completely different for those viewers. You can have um, different sky boxes for each viewer. All right, so to set it up on a camera, you firstly need to have a camera. So if you don't have a, a main camera or a camera that you set up earlier, um, then you can go up to the game object menu and click on camera to add a camera to your project. Okay, and when you've got a camera in your project, you can move it around and rotate it just like you can any other object in the um, game environment. All right, so I've got this camera here. All right, and it's pointing in that direction. So there's also a camera preview down here to show what it will look like in the game. If I click on the preview and play button, that's the camera view that we have. All right, so this is actually where we're looking from. Now, if I click on that camera, uh, that camera in the hierarchy, I can now add a skybox to the camera. So I can go up to component, can go down to rendering, and then I click, can click on skybox. All right, now that adds a skybox property here in the inspector. So if I click on the circle next to custom skybox, I can choose another one of those skyboxes. All right, so we might pick the, hmm, which one should we pick? Pick this one here, overcast skies. Okay, so notice that in the actual world here, in the game, we still have this kind of sunset um, skybox, but in the camera preview, you can see a completely different skybox being used. So if we go to play and view this game from the camera, that's the skybox, okay? So we have the overcast skybox. Um, so we can add another camera, okay, game object, camera, and this one's called camera one. We can move camera one and we can rotate it. Let me look that way. All right, now this camera is looking in that direction. All right, let's click on play. Now, right now we're looking through, uh, we're looking through camera, the first camera here that we created. All right, but with camera one, we could add a different skybox to it. So we do component, rendering, skybox, and then we can pick something else. So we could pick maybe this, one of the sunny skies. Okay, so just have a look here. When we're in the scene here, just a normal scene, we've got this sunset skybox. When we look at camera, this camera here, in the camera preview, we've got the overcast skybox. And we go to camera one in the hierarchy and look down here in the camera preview, we've got one of the sunny sky skyboxes. So if you have different players or um, different viewers, um, you can set them up with different cameras and each camera can have a different skybox. So you can give your characters um, or players different cameras and for those cameras you can assign a skybox. So we've got different skyboxes there and then when you actually set up your game and play it, you can specify um, which skybox is being used. All right, so that's basically it. That's um, how to add skyboxes to your game environment in Unity. Thanks for watching.